Hey guys, Will A.K. LaSalle here, and today we're doing a review on the Akari Warriors Thunderstick Studio, right, by GRS Products. Let's do it. Hey guys, so let me get right into this, right? So this is the Thunderstick Studios right uh thunder G6 studios grs limited edition grs super joystick right the akari warriors edition oops sorry about that guys the akari warriors edition it's available for pre-order now we were able to get a test unit right a review unit from glenn's retro show so that's what this review unit is right full disclosure to everybody out there right now it's shipping in november and it's 79.99 now as of th this recording it's september 26th and the september so in about five weeks this thing will start shipping out to you guys right 79.99 tax included but shipping is calculated at checkout right uh hmm. and what's weird here is up oh, that's just an excerpt out there right so again and you can join an exclusive club here's some pictures right i didn't record an unboxing i'm just doing this a little bit differently off the cuff you know and everything like that right shout out to everybody out there you know what i'm trying to say if you know where i got that phrase from right so here's the the outer box which we were just looking at as well right um then when you open it up right you can see this is the back of the box where the back of the box is also can be used for player two i'll link below to a great setup video to help you set up from Glenn himself, right? From from Glenn's retro show himself, that shows you how to install this, right? Here is the front of the inner box that also has the perforated, you know, uh, buttons, so you can pop them out, right? So you can drop in the buttons from the controller. Comes with a very thick manual, you know. Trying to say pause, <laughs> very thick manual in here. Here's how it's how it was looking. You know what I'm saying? Once buttons started, you know, getting installed. But really, this is the underside of the preparations. I'm a little out of sequence. Sorry, guys. These are the actual, the buttons, the wires, the way mode button, and the actual joystick it's, itself, right? Here's the underside when I started, when I started installing it, getting everything prepped, right? And again, these pictures are out of sequence, right? That was where just about everything was ready you know what I'm trying to say we screwed it in you can follow the instructions it took about honestly it took about an hour to build it and that's because I was just very meticulous I was following along to Glenn's video I didn't I didn't RTFM right the 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 manual um until much later on and I'll explain that right so again this thing is going on pre-order in November right for $79.99 so it took about an hour to put everything together the box is very sturdy, you know, here, here it is built, right? Here's the wire, here's the underside, here's the flashing. Shout out to Mad Little Pixel, I know he did a, a review unit and he was talking about, right? Talking about the blinking. So now let's get into some gameplay and I'm gonna explain the setup that I currently have here uh, utilizing this stick, right? So give me a second, guys, to... So I got a bit of inception going on here, right? So what we have here is Windows 11 running on a VM. I'm a Mac user. So I was able to connect the unit to uh, the Mac, right? And then through the Mac, since it's, a, it's really Windows, I guess it can work. I didn't play around with it too much. This is what it was detected as, right? And then, as you can see, within the Windows 11 VM, I'm running Parallels. I think I'm actually a version behind. It was asking me to update it, right? But even in there, I was able to install the T-Sticks configurator and upgrade the firmware to, as of this video, the latest firmware is version 2.29. So I was able to upgrade the firmware and this is where you can do further kind of configurations, etc., within the controller itself. As Glenn mentioned, right? You can get right now SNK 40th anniversary for free through Prime Gaming, right? So we're going to be able to test 
with SNK 40th anniversary. I don't know if that audio came through or not. Let me see. I don't want to inundate you guys. So let me try to get the, the volume a little lower on this. But anyway. So right now, utilizing the control. I don't know if I can elevate it even more or whatever like that. Let me see if I have anything to put it on. Again, like I said, Inception. So as you can see, right, you're, you're able to turn, so you're able to play these games where you have to have to turn the joystick, right? So, oops. Oh my goodness. And I suck at this game, guys. But as you can see, oh. That's so cool because I remember playing these games in the arcade with this certain joystick. Now I have a main machine downstairs and right now it'd be tough. I'm going to probably do a follow on video whenever I can get um, and try to connect it to my my main arcade cabinet downstairs, which I have, you know, these these ROMs as well. Right. Because that's basically that's what this is. So let's try to see if we can see. Oh, there it is. Duh. Oh my goodness, I suck. Well, that was that one. I think at this time I'm getting used to it. I, I started the game out. Okay. Ooh. I suck, man. Oh, geez, but it's, you know, I'm not the best, best player of these games or whatever like that, but the joystick works really well. You can do, like I said, you can do the thing where, where you turn and all that good stuff. So the manual on this is pretty thick, right? It's about 40 pages, 40 pages, right? There's Glenn, shout out to Glenn right there. And and blues on there as well. So it's about 40 pages, very detailed. If you need installation help, right? As I said, we're gonna link Glenn's video. It's about 44, 45 minutes, but it also has QR codes along the way too, that you can scan if you're more of a video to follow along, right? This is very intricate. It comes with a lot of spare parts as well, right? Oh, where did I put, oh, I put this stuff. It comes with a lot of spare parts as well, right? It's got some twisty ties if you want to really clean up when you're when you're wiring inside it has uh extra screws if you don't want to use the box right because i know a lot of people will sit there and say oh the, you know it's cardboard etc but if you don't want to use the box right you have all the parts to sit there if you have a main machine or um an arcade went up an ia arcade where you want to kind of drop these buttons in place. So you got a spare one. You got one that maybe you got an IRK with the encoder board. You know, you might be able to swap this out. Uh, you might be able to just cre create your own little contraptions or, you know, however, right? Because there's a lot of aftermarket uh, 
you know, there's a lot of aftermarket mods to be able to upgrade your controllers on any of the three quarter cabs or even your main machine, right? So you can use these parts in there, right? You can use these parts in there to be able to do that. You don't need to use the cardboard. Although this is very sturdy, right? Very sturdy, very quality made, you know, um, cardboard and it's a beautiful box. You know, so, overall, this is an extreme value for $79.99, right? Um, I like Glenn products and stuff like that. I like doing them as little projects, right? So it beats crocheting or something like that, right? So being able to take the time out, it took me about an hour to put it together because, again, I was very meticulous. I really wanted to wire it, et cetera, et cetera, correctly. Um, I really wanted to, in my mind, get it to work in my setup. I'm not a Windows person. I run Windows in a VM. So I had to do a lot of pre-work. Um, I do want to test it because I do have SMK 40th on my Nintendo Switch. So I do want to test it shortly, right, um, on my Nintendo Switch. And I do want to test it with the main cabinet downstairs, right? It has multiple modes. It has so much, so many abilities for you to be able to play. You know, as Glenn has said, this works as a regular, you know, uh, joystick with six buttons as well. So you can play Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, any games, right, on your your system that you have um, with a Raspberry Pi, a main machine, a PC. And again, I got it working through virtualization in a Windows VM on Mac, right? I, I will try to play around with it with some stuff on my Mac system as well. Thank you guys real, real for joining us and everything like that. We love you guys. Peace. Peace.